seems legit. And welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you just real quick how I do my double layer iron-ons. Um, I put it up a little bit higher than you would think because I didn't want it to be right across my breasts. Um, but I really like how this come out. I love this t shirt too. It's, um, it's cute and I think it was like $4. Uh, so if you want to see how to do double layer HTV, please stay tuned. Okay. So here is my t-shirt. It is just like a cheap um, Kmart one. We've got this cool little twist in the front, so I like it. I bought it a size bigger so that it will be baggy. Um, so now I'm just going to lay it under here. Now if you don't have a heat press, you can totally use an iron. It just takes a bit longer. So I am going to start off with my bottom layer, which is the pink drip and I'm just going to put it I want to make sure that this is all flat now if it's got wrinkles in it feel free to just squish it a little bit first that's better then I'm just going to lay this down here like that and then I'm going to push it down now I tend to do it for about 10 seconds um, and then you just check it Sometimes they need more. If you're doing an iron, you'll need longer than a heat press. Or at least that's what I found. And then I'm just going to, as you can see, I'm very slowly peeling it to making sure that the backing is going to come off like so. Uh, and then I'm just going to fold that up and that gets discarded in the bin. So now we're going to take our second layer. Um, and because I had it perfectly even, this at the top is therefore straight. So you're just going to line it up in the middle and I'm going to put it down and just check it like that and I'm pretty happy with there. So now I'm just going to squash that down. Now glitter I personally find takes a little bit longer uh, but I'll just be testing it. I also had to cut it a lot thicker. Um, it took me three cuts to get through it because I had to just keep inching the blade up a little bit more each time. And so now I'm just going to test it and see if it comes off. And see how it's not coming off? That tells me it's not done yet. So we're going to just squish it down some more. Um, there is an official rule, but we all know that rules for me are more like guidelines. So I just give it a little bit and then we'll see. Um, as you can see, the, all these dots are magnets holding on my top piece of double-sided tape. Just if you wanted a fun way to get that done. So now I'm going to try again. Oh, see how it's lifting up this time? It didn't do it that easily before. So that's how I know that we're all good. You'll also notice I peel it across and I don't just rip up. Ripping up never helped anybody. That is actually still quite hot. I'm going to take it out of here and just let it cool down because it's, it's quite hot and it's had a lot of heat on it. And then I've now got my cool giant drip label. Uh, I'm just double checking but it is all stuck down and if I do that up close you can see it's all glittery but it's not too pronounced so it is still fairly flat. So there you go, that's how I do my two layers.